you used to do LSD with Steve Jobs. Can you take me back to, to those college days? I mean, let's let's just rewind and go back let's there. Let's see, were we playing Sgt. Pepper? <laughs> well, uh, yeah, what, what were you playing? How did this go down? It was pretty prosaic. We were in Portland at Reed College. You know, freshman college year is a very poignant time of life where, where you're very much trying to figure out what the world is about and what you're interested in. How'd you guys meet? Oh, well, at Reed, Reed was a pastoral environment, and so there was a lot of hanging out going on. But Steve and I developed a friendship when we figured out that we had both read this amazing book called Be Here Now, which is about psychedelics and spirituality. Steve was my best friend at the time of life when I was discovering all this huge current of Eastern literature. All of a sudden, psychedelics were being introduced into the mix of traditional spirituality, and that was just very fascinating. Do you remember the first time you guys took psychedelics together? No, not really. We were just kind of walking around. I think we used to go for hikes. I think we camped out on the beach. I can't really remember building a campfire. I don't rem remember what we did when it got dark. I can tell you that um, the times that I was taking psychedelics with Steve, we weren't really talking that much. We were more of in a meditative space. At some point, you guys, you and Steve Jobs, you guys decided to go to India, right? Yes. What was that trip like? I didn't have any money, I had no travel plans, but Steve had started working at Atari and he had money, a couple thousand dollars. And so he offered to buy my ticket. I said, absolutely, okay, let's go. We were just traveling around, just hippies traveling around. We weren't even hippies. We shaved our heads. <laughs> we, were, we were monks. We were monk wannabes. The story goes that everyone's in the garage working on the first prototype. When I heard that he was starting this Apple project, that was a big surprise to me, and I volunteered to help, not having any qualifications whatsoever, but I was happy to help. Most of what I was doing was testing these boards and you know, hooking them up and testing. Plug I had to plug all the chips in mm -hmm. and then test them. And Steve was on the phone in the kitchen most of the time. So I was alone in the garage. <laughs> did I, did I even have a radio? No, I didn't even think I had a radio. Once you were there, did Steve Jobs, did you and Steve Jobs ever take LSD or continue to take psychedelics? Once Apple started, Steve was really focused with all of his energy on making Apple successful. And he didn't need psychedelics for that. 